John here guys, and today I'm talking about the Tiny Whoop Nano. That tip. Oh baby Tom, it's so hot right now. Calm pill. down, all right? I just need to know where it came from. This is an awesome collaboration between Team Black Sheep and Tiny Whoop. Kind of like Compton and Long Beach coming together so now you know you're in trouble. So uh, the Tiny Whoop Nano is a tiny whoop that has been put together. It has a few Team Black Sheep goodies. It uses the Team Black Sheep software shortcut packagey tool thing. Agent X to be able to configure the thing, set up your modes, set up your channel mapping, uh, things like that, uh, which makes it a little bit easier. I, I've never really used that before, so for me it was a little bit more difficult than say beta flights, but it's really designed to give you a cohesive, one-stop, simple-to-use shop. It's kind of like how techie people have a hard time using iTunes, even though it's really made to be simpler. Um, but it works, you know, easily enough. I really just went on there, set up my channel mapping after I bound it to my radio, um, and it was good to go. It has this cool little Team Black Sheep antenna out here that is like the sticker one it gets you pretty good nice clear reception but what's notable about this is the size now one of the reasons why it is nano is because it has a smaller size than a standard size whoop the tiny whoop nano is 55 millimeters prop to prop um, while the frame size of this traditional whoop is 65 millimeters. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Um, now it still uses the same prop size, which is 31 millimeters for these small things. So what does that gain you? Um, before we talk about that, let's go what comes in the package. It comes with this really nice plastic package with a little flip top on there. Um, it has some extra props. Um, and I believe an extra canopy as well, and a battery. Now you're probably gonna want a few more of these. The idea behind making it a little bit smaller is that you get a little bit more agility and maneuverability. Now, notable, this is a brushed motor setup. Now these are all but extinct in modern times, but they do still offer some of the best performance as far as being nimble. Um, so you're not gonna be doing any power moves, but this is made to be flown inside your house. And inside your house, you really want the highest level of maneuverability so as not to crash into anything. And this also gives you an extremely light weight. For indoors, for indoors. You really don't want gobs and gobs of power. Um, you were to look at the Tiny Whoop Racers, maneuverability is king. So if, you know, five inch racing was, you know, F1, this would really be like solo racing autocross in a parking lot with the cones, where you don't really need that straight line speed. You need that precise, precision maneuverability. Um, this is the type of autocross racing where the Miata was king for many, many years. Now in the, in the promotion videos when this launched, we saw one of these things flying through extremely tight gaps um, throughout the Tiny Whoop headquarters. Uh, and that was very, very impressive. Um, so what is this gonna do in my hands? Of course you expect the Tiny Whoop guys to be at the very top. So is this really maneuverable, uh, more maneuverable, or was it just like one of their awesome team pilots flying that thing that could get away with flying something like this? Uh, it's not a hundred percent game changer. I'll tell you that right now, guys. This is still extremely maneuverable. This is probably overpowered. I would rather be running 0802 motors on here instead of these 0803s. Um, this is more maneuverable. It is easy to fly very precise, but a good 65 millimeter whoop will also give you that. But what this does give you is a nice cohesive package. It gives you this box. It reminds me of something you pick up in the Toys R Us toy aisle as a kid. I really, really like the packaging on this thing. It gives you some spares. 
um, which I like, gives you a nice, good branded battery. So at a hundred bucks, is this worth it? Obviously a tiny whoop, a skilled whoop pilot can really do some special things with this. So we're gonna show some footage. Um, you've seen me flying a lot of these small micros in my house. Um, what do you think? Does it seem a little bit more maneuverable to you? Uh, I feel like it is, but it's not like twice as maneuverable and you do give up a little bit of power, but you don't really need this power for this size. I also do like, because the sizes shrunk a little bit, you're gonna be less prone to bump into things just by virtue of that alone. If you're fitting through really tight grab, gaps like stair rails or something like that. So all in all, cool package. A couple of other notes as we take off. The video transmitter camera combination in this thing is probably the best I've ever seen in a Whoop class craft. Look at how clear this image is. Look at how sharp it is. Look at how a little breakup there is. I didn't even bother to switch over to my linear patch antenna. So this is just my normal you know, vast uh, right-hand circular polarized antenna setup, and it's so magnificently clear. Uh, no doubt that is part of the Team Black Sheep collaboration. They're quite known for having amazing video products. And uh, the other note I wanna make is that people oftentimes will tell you about that locked-in feel of a tiny whoop uh, versus a beta flight. Uh, whoop style aircraft and i think this is my first uh run on an actual tiny whoop and you really do feel that locked in um extremely precise tracking movement you can kind of see that i'm still getting used to it because it performs a little differently than beta flight but i can see what the fuss is about and with a little more practice um, there's probably no limit to how precise you can be with this thing. So if precision is your aim, this is probably the best on the market for it.